What is going on guys, Money Webby here, back again on Tuesday. I apologize for no videos over the last few days. I actually had to go home to attend some family matters, so I uh, couldn't get any videos out to you. But I'm back here on Tuesday, and we got a nice 14-game slate. Now I got it broken down for you with my money six, two pitchers, three hitters, and a nice value batter as well. So go ahead and drop a like in the video if you're ready to win some money here on tonight's slate. Let's try to get over 100 likes in this one. I'd greatly appreciate that. So for my first pitcher, though, I'm going to go with Severino at 13,100. A uh, nice matchup here against the Phillies would strike out a lot, especially against right-handed pitchers. They have a 27% K rate versus righties. And Severino, very good strikeout pitcher, a 30% K rate on the season for him. He's coming off a pretty tough start against Seattle, but they're hitting the ball very well this year. And this is just a much easier matchup, I think, here in Philly. It is a park upgrade here. Uh, from his normal New York home stadium, and they just strike out so much. I think he has great upside, and he's shown that upside throughout this year, like 37, 37, 34. Uh, he went for 45 against Houston. He can definitely go for 30-plus against this Phillies lineup, so I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there at 13,100. For my second guy, Freddie Peralta here at 7,900. This guy as well has shown some great upside. In two out of his three starts, he's gone for 30 and 41 drafting points. So very good stuff. Uh, he's had some great strikeout stuff on the season, a 41% K rate in his first three starts. So great to see that for his upside on drafting points and just to get that good floor with the Ks. And, uh, Against his Kansas City lineup, they aren't very scary at all. Like They only have Moustakis and Merrifield, which you really feel that scared about, especially against the right-handed pitcher. Uh, Salvador Perez, I believe, is much better against lefties. So if Peralta, if he can just get around Moustakis here in this game and get those strikeouts that he's been able to on the season, I think he can have a very good game, especially for his price at 7900 can return some good value on that like his strikeout rate is just so high and even in the minors when he was pitching he had a lot of strikeouts so he definitely has the capability to do it again here in this game and they're only projected 3.2 runs the royals that is so vegas likes him a good amount so i'm gonna go ahead and lock him in there as my second pitcher i love that combo of severino and peralta you got 36 25 remaining per player and you got some great upside with both of those guys for my first uh hitter though joey gallo at 3,900, going against Tyson Ross. Ross, a big part downgrade for him, going from San Diego to Texas, and it's going to be very hot here in Texas. Some great hitting conditions, and Gallo, we know he has solid power against uh, right-handed pitchers, especially here at home. He has 10 home runs, 7.8 drafting points on average, and uh, Tyson Ross this year, he's been much worse against left-handed batters. Like, his batting average allowed to righties this year is 150 or so. And against lefties, it's up to 290. So, you really want to attack him with those lefties. And Gallo, the best power hitter on this Texas lineup. And he's a pretty good uh, price at 3900 So, I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my first hitter with good power upside. For my second guy, another guy that can definitely hit a home run here tonight, Jake Lamb. At 4,000, going against uh, Hernandez, who's been very bad against left-handed batters this year. And he's just not a good pitcher. So Lamb, he's seen him uh, twice this year, and he got a home run against them. I believe that was this year because a lot of these D-backs guys have good BVP against them. And Hernandez, is, he's allowing a 428 Woba against lefties. So he's definitely not very good against them. And Lamb, one of the better lefties on this lineup, and he has great power against right-handed pitchers. His ISO was over 200 last year against them, and around 190 this year, and it's trending up for the, for, uh, for the most part. He had a home run in yesterday's game. So Jake Lamb, I believe that was yesterday, yeah. Uh, so he's on a good track here, I think, against Hernandez. A great matchup for 4,000. I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my second hitter. Now we got to get some more value guys here. So Kike Hernandez is going to be the first guy I'm looking at at 3,500. Going against John Lester. Lester, still a solid pitcher, uh, but he has benefited from some good luck with uh, batted balls. Like he's allowing a good hard contact rate to right-handed batters, and he's still allowing some home runs here and there to right-handed batters. So Kike Hernandez, he's seen him before. So he has that advantage of kind of knowing what Lester has. He's 5 for 16 
with a triple and two home runs. So he definitely has the extra base ability against Lester, and he's just so good against left-handed pitchers. He has a 256 ISO against lefties this year, hitting the ball very well, especially as of late, three home runs in the last two games. So I like this matchup here against the lefty, and he'll be at the top of that lineup. So at 3,500, I feel like it's a good value here um, for Hernandez. It sees the ball so well against lefties and has that power upside. Already 13 home runs on the season. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my third hitter. So that's the core five. We've got Severino, Peralta, Joey Gallo, Jake Lamb, and Hernandez. You can also put Joey Gallo in the outfield, so it gives you some uh, flexibility there. And for my third hitter, I'm going to go with Jose Perella, another guy that you can put in the outfield at 3,300. Going against Bibbins Darks, another park upgrade here for Perella. And Bibbins Darks has been worse against right-handed batters. Uh, the splits are pretty sizable. He's allowing more home runs, uh, better batting average to righties. So Jose Perella, I think he can get it done here. Another guy that should be the top of the lineup and a nice value on him at 3,300. He does have some power upside, but he really hasn't shown that uh, to this on the season. Like last year, he had 10 home runs. In 80 games but so far only two home runs to show for but in this park in texas with the hot and humid conditions like i mentioned i think he can honestly get another home run in this game and he does have some base stealing ability he had a home run yesterday in texas so the park upgrade already showing there in that first game and on uh, the good matchup here against bib and starks who isn't a great pitcher and perella uh, definitely has the upside to get it done here. So a 3,300 for a guy that does have the ability to get a home run and he can steal a base. I like the value here in the top of the lineup. Park upgrade. Love it. Go ahead and lock him in there. So that leaves you with 35.75 remaining per player. Definitely not a, a lot of money to pay, to pay around for after, but there is so, there's still some good value spots, especially if this White Sox game plays. Uh, as of right now, there is some like flash flood warning, so I'm not, I'm not sure... Uh, right now but logan morrison was a guy i was going to mention before at 3300 if that game plays and i think he's a good option also uh palka uh at 3300 against lance Lynn can get it done he has some good power so two guys at 3300 that could be viable as well uh if that game gives it a go and there's still some other guys down there around the 3300 range that can be thrown in your lineups like if you put perella in the outfield, you can go maybe like Eduardo Nunez at second or something like that. So they're still doable to fill it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, though. Um, got something out of value in this one. Be sure to leave a like before you head out. It really helps me out with these videos so I can keep them coming to you every single day. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't or happen to be new here on the channel. You can hit that bell icon to get alerted every time I upload these videos. I'm going to back on the daily grind every single day I'll be uploading these. So I apologize. For the last few days um but really had no time to upload these videos hope you guys understand but good luck tonight guys let's win some money here tonight 14 games later let's get her done and we'll see you back here again tomorrow